January 18th, 2020, the diving world was shaken to its core. A day that should have been just like any other routine dive for the incredible Christine Gauci, a 35-year-old scuba instructor, free diver, and Afghanistan veteran. But what unfolded was a series of events that left us with more questions than answers, and a gripping tale that will forever be etched in our memories. Born on September 3, 1985, Christine Gucci was not your average adventurer. In 2005, she defied all odds by becoming the only female to join Malta's elite armed forces. Her journey was marked by determination and resilience, recovering from a knee injury that initially sidelined her from basic training. But Christine's ambition knew no bounds. She dreamt of serving in the British Army, a dream she achieved after grueling selection and training, specialising in air defence. Her journey took her to the Minden Battery 12th Regiment Royal Artillery in Afghanistan in 2011, where she earned the prestigious Afghanistan Medal. Upon returning to Malta in 2012, she rejoined the armed forces, this time with responsibilities at Malta International Airport, including VIP protection and rapid response to aircraft accidents. However, Christine's ambitions didn't stop there. She aspired to become the first female member of the esteemed Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, combining her love for diving with her dedication to handling delicate military tasks. The enigmatic island of Gozo, Christine's determination mirrored the spirit of Malta, a nation with a population of about 500,000 people, formed by two main islands, the larger Malta and the smaller Gozo. Each had its unique charm. While Malta was more developed and had numerous attractions, Gozo offered a relaxed and natural atmosphere. The dive that changed everything took place at Magarik Sini, a picturesque bay located in the south of Gozo. Accessible through a winding road, this bay boasts a gentle slope to varying depths and two small ocean caverns, making it a popular and easily reachable dive site. On that crisp morning of January 18th, 2020, Christine met with Arthur and the rest of the dive team for what should have been an unforgettable underwater adventure. Arthur Castillo was a resident of Taslima, and an experienced diver. Despite being awake for a grueling 20 hours before the dive due to work commitments, Christine was undeterred. She believed the cold water would rejuvenate her. As they descended into the deep, they encountered a series of challenges. Christine's buoyancy control became an issue, and Arthur had to intervene multiple times. At 28 meters, Arthur had to physically hold Christine down and release gas from her buoyancy control device. Despite these signs, Christine signaled to proceed with the dive, their journey took them into an unnamed underwater cave where Christine's flipper became entangled in a discarded fishing net. Arthur's quick thinking helped free her and they decided to continue the dive. Buoyancy issues persisted, but Christine was determined to press on. Then, tragedy struck. Christine experienced an uncontrolled ascent, separating her from Arthur. He ascended with the intention of completing a mandatory decompression stop, but his efforts to seek Christine proved futile. She was nowhere to be found. Arthur, unaware of Christine's situation, initially assumed she was safe on the surface. This assumption, without proper communication, would prove to be a crucial mistake, delaying a rescue attempt during those critical initial minutes. Tragically, Christine was found floating face down near the shore, unconscious and frothing from the mouth with bloodshot eyes. Despite the efforts of the divers and an armed forces of Malta boat arriving on the scene, it was too late. Three potential factors contributed to this devastating incident. A lack of adequate decompression stops, gas depletion, and the possibility of a cardiac arrhythmia. Arthur's conviction sent shockwaves through the diving community, fearing its implications for the sport's safety and Malta's dive tourism industry. Gas consumption, buoyancy control, and buddy checks are vital aspects of diving safety, as Christine's case painfully reminds us. Her gas consumption should have raised red flags and prompted a more cautious approach. However, on February 22, 2023, the Court of Criminal Appeal cleared Arthur of criminal responsibility for Christine's death. The court recognised that he had done everything reasonably expected of him in those circumstances. Justice Herrera emphasised that while the buddy system is essential for diver safety, it does not make one responsible for the other's actions. In a recent interview, 
Arthur Castillo opened up about the accident and its profound impact on him. He shared, Until recently, nightmares used to wake me up. It was the first time I experienced an accident after 12 years of diving. I've dived with loads of people, different cultures, with different habits, and this was my first experience. Not a nice one, and I do not wish it on anybody. After Arthur was cleared of all criminal liability, he said, I nearly fainted. My legs felt like jelly and I had to sit down. At the end of the day, this was a tragedy. I lost a good friend. We lost Christine. Now I am mourning Christine. I am coming to terms with her death. I am coming to terms with everything. I risked my life three times during that dive. I am no superhero. I did what I could without endangering my own life. But at the end of the day, we all make our decisions and she wanted to dive. Charles Spiteri Michele, a talented sculptor and the driving creative force behind Jesus Art Studio in Halkormi, has masterfully crafted a captivating bronze statue that serves as an enduring tribute to Christine. The statue now proudly graces the very front of Christine's childhood home in Victoria, Gozo, transformed into a sanctuary known as Dar Christine. Christine's story serves as a poignant reminder that, in the world of diving and in life, we must adhere to best practices and judgments. Gas consumption, buoyancy control, and effective buddy checks are not mere protocols but lifelines that ensure our safety. As we reflect on this tale, let us honour Christine Gochi's memory by diving responsibly, pursuing our dreams with determination, and cherishing the beauty and fragility of life. If this story resonated with you, don't forget to show your support by giving the video a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button.